Good evening. Today is Saturday, July 8th, and you're looking at me. Normally when I film, I don't do the front facing because I, my arms get tired from holding the phone all the time, and my hair is usually a hot mess, but I took a shower this morning, so. <laughs> um, my mood today is the same as it was yesterday when I filmed my last clip. Um, sad, disappointed, but not surprised because it's me. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know she can't help being on call for work. You know, plus she has kids, boyfriend, other friends, you know, a life. <laughs> I don't. Um, but yeah, she did text me this afternoon. Sorry, um, about trying again either Friday or Saturday, and I said, sure, and I'm not holding my breath because it's me. And I know part of that, well, most of that feeling, I'm like, yeah, right, is <laughs> the deep loneliness I've been feeling for the past few months. Um, I don't remember if I said it in a vlog uh, recently, but I know I've thought it. And I wrote it down in a journal just a little while ago. I well, I wrote down I'm no longer mourning, but that will no that will always be. <laughs> I will always be mourning my parents' deaths. Um, spent you know, in 20 days will be four year anniversary of my mom's passing. Um, so yeah, but I'm not. Crying for the loss of her. Well, now I am, but I'm more crying for the loneliness I've been feeling for the past few months. You know, being alone and all that. Um, and in the almost nine years I've been here in Vegas, and the, the people I met, which is very few, I no longer talk to or see anymore. I don't know if it's because of me or because of them or a combination of both. But yeah. And I know with the bereavement group, after you say no for a while to the Sunday lunches, he takes you off the list for lunches. And I haven't gone to a lunch In almost a year now um, because one I was told I think back in April or March that I would have to find my own way to the lunches now because I used to get picked up by people that used to live around here and um, I'm like I'm like okay and I took that as, oh, they don't want me around. But I've gone to a couple on my own. They were close by. One was really close, <laughs> like a mile. But um, usually the lunches are like around Summerlin by me or way far away. And it will cost way too much to go there and come, and come home. So... Um, plus my diet, <laughs> you know, I know when I go out, I would get something that I shouldn't have because I've done that every single time I've gone out. Like, it's all the times I've gone to Costco, I usually get a slice of pizza and I shouldn't be having that. When I go to Sam's Club a couple times, I get the pizza pretzel. Um, I've gone to Burger King since during, once during this diet. I've ordered five guys. Well, the one time I ordered five guys, I got it with just the, the burger patty and the toppings, but I ordered a, um, fries because they're good. <laughs> um, but, you know, I always get 
every time I go out, I get something I shouldn't have. Uh, which, is, you know, when I go out, it's very rare. <laughs> um, I've When I go to Winco, I haven't done it lately, or at least for a good while, I get sushi. Can't have the rice. <laughs> um, well, I shouldn't have the rice. But, um, you know, the only times I've been good, kind of, is going to Cafe Zupa's and getting a salad. But the last two times I've been there, I ate the roll. Another time, I didn't eat the roll. I brought it home, stuck in the freezer. I later tossed it. But, um, yeah. I mean, it's a small roll. It ain't going to kill me, but still, I shouldn't be having it because, yeah. Anyway, um, plus the food prices at restaurants. I mean, it's one reason why I haven't ordered anything on Grubhub or Uber Eats because the prices are crazy. Plus, I wouldn't order something that I shouldn't have. <laughs> um, so, yeah. But still, you know, you know, I wasn't invited for Christmas or Thanksgiving. I haven't heard anything from them or anybody in that group for a year. Um, well, no, last communication I had was a happy birthday, and that was it. So I took all their numbers off my phone a couple months ago. So. That's that with them. Another chapter closed. <sighs> but, um, yeah. It sucks. And the thing with my mom's, well, or her caregiver, when, before she passed away, she told my mom that she would always Look out for me, here for me. I mean, she's my age. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, but I don't believe it because the last time I was going to get my, my ID. I was going to go to the DMV to get my ID renewed. And I know I could do it online, but I wanted to pay cash. <laughs> um, and she was offered to take me. I didn't ask her. She offered. And then that was in weeks in advance of when I was going to go. And then, like, the day before, she said she couldn't because she had to take her kid to the dentist. So I ended up going. And that's when I knew I couldn't count on anybody for anything. I'm hoping to change that view. It's going to take time. <laughs> so anyway, today I did nothing. <laughs> I did walk. I walked a lot today. I did about 15 minutes around the house. And then I walked some more. Around the house, I did about two miles. I think because I was bored. <laughs> but um, if that was the case, I would have been a stick by now. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, and when I went to put my thyroid medication in the pill holder for the week, I'm like, oh, I gotta call my doctor <laughs> to get an appointment. Um, to get a refill. So I gotta do that Monday. And it'd be really funny if I go there, if I get the appointment for Tuesday at the same time I went the last couple weeks. Um, and hopefully I can talk to him about how I'm feeling. Not that he can do anything about the loneliness. There's no pill for that. Um, and if it, there is, it'll probably be bad for my liver. <laughs> um, and I want to talk to him about my diet. Because it's been a year 
for a little over a year since I found out that I have a fatty liver and I don't feel any different. I don't look any different. I weigh the same as the last time I was, well not the last time, but when I actually looked at the scale the last time I was there, I weighed the same as the last time I looked at the scale, um, which is kind of good, but you know, I want to lose, not stay the same. <laughs> um, so yeah, hopefully I get to do that. But, um, I think that's about it. Nothing much. I just want to get that off my chest. Because I have nobody else. I need a dog, but I can't afford a pet. <laughs> um, Yeah, anyway, I'm going to end it here and upload this. And uh, maybe film. I have one more iCAD to do ahead of time. Probably do that, maybe. And see you guys later.